So what's the best way to keep yourself organized? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Creative Exploration series. I'm using my new camera today, which is super awesome. I, um, it gives me a lot more flexibility and a lot more versatility with the where and when I can record. And I think that that's really going to help just improve the channel in general. And I'm really looking forward to that. There's, this is still the defective camera. It has like that little pixel that's kind of screwed up over in the middle side over there. And I'm working with Canon on getting that resolved. But uh, in the meantime, I have a new camera and it's awesome. Um, you'll have to forgive me for using my notes here because um, I don't have a proper teleprompter system yet, um, but that is something that I am planning on getting at some point in the future. Um, so we'll just see where that goes. Anyway, this week I wanted to talk about something that I've touched on several times in the past, and that's actually writing things down and, and taking notes. Um, in prior episodes, I've talked a lot about taking notes and putting them in the cloud, like putting them in a place where you can access anywhere. But in this episode, I really wanted to talk about um, putting things down on paper, making them physical and real and actually taking the time to write things down. And I think that's very important. And this might seem archaic at first, but I feel that the act of writing things down actually does quite a lot to both improve your retention mentally of the task and also it a, probably gives you a better chance of it actually getting completed, uh, partially because of the retention, but also because I feel like you're investing some time into writing it down and that actually creates a little bit more of a motivation for your brain to actually, you know, go and, and take care of that task. Um, and I feel this is because writing things down is actually a little bit slower and it takes more um, dedicated thought to actually make that happen. Um, it's a deliberate action that takes, you know, more mental effort and compared to doing something like going on Trello and just typing something up real quick, quick and just uploading the, um, the card, you're actually sitting down with a pen and paper or pencil and, um, just writing things out. And that actually takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of mental energy. And I feel that taking this time and mental energy actually sends signals to your brain, letting uh, it know that this is more important. This is an important task that needs to get taken care of. So how do you apply this? And I'll, I'll just go over my method. I think that my method is very kind of basic, but it works for a lot of different people depending on um, just the free time that you have and how much, how much you want to invest into it. Um, so when I'm at work, the last thing I do before I leave for the day is uh, write down all the things that I want to do when I get home. Um, sometimes it's simple stuff, and actually, I'll just show you my list for today. Right here. Um, so, uh, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to shop online for some kettleballs because I want to start, like, lifting weights again. Um, there was some basement stuff I needed to take care of. There's this video. Um, and then just working on some Famitracker stuff. And there's a couple other small things like doing emails and stuff, but really it's a lot of small tasks that I would probably otherwise forget. And that's why writing things down like this is so very important. Um, and if I have leftovers from the prior day, is I have another list on my desk that's like stuff that I didn't do over the weekend. But um, so I keep those around and I either I transfer them to new lists or I just keep them around until I check everything off and then I can just chuck the list, it's done. And I think that works very, very well. So basically what this allows me to do is it allows me to sit down at my desk like in the evening and I'll have a list of everything that I need to take care of that evening. Um, so I don't just fiddle around on YouTube or I don't just mess around on a project that's not really um, vital to uh, finishing right away. And I think that that's very important because it helps keep me on task. And I think that that's something that's very, very hard to do otherwise. And now to be clear, I don't really want to say that you should pack your day completely full of work. You still have to take time to, you know, relax, chill out and just allow yourself to unwind a little bit. Because if you just completely pack your day every day, you're just going to burn out and then th then you're no good to anybody. So I think that's very important. So what happens in the end is that the larger projects, like the ones that I talked about in the planning ahead episode, those actually get dropped into the cloud-based systems like Trello or just Google Keep. And the day-to-day -day projects are delegated out physically on paper because those are easy to carry around, they're easy to add to, 
and then you can just take care of them when you have the chance. Um, this way, um, I can get a broad overview of all of the tasks whenever I want, but I know exactly what I need to do right now. And I think that that's very, very important. Plus, and maybe this is just me, it's very, very satisfying to sit down and check off a bunch of stuff on my list saying, okay, this is done, this is done, this is done. It's really great for me to just kind of sit down and knock a bunch of stuff out. I think that that's very, very satisfying. So do you have any suggestions on improving your project follow through? I'll be reading and responding to comments below. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Be remarkable. This video is also brought to you by some incredible Patreon subscribers. I wouldn't have any of this if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you very much.